A few hours ago, after serving a term of 14 years, Frankie Madison was released from Sing Sing Prison. Now, in a second-rate hotel in Midtown, New York... Is it all right, Frankie? Rooms are kind of hard to get these days, but I... It's fine, Dave. Any room would look fine to me, as long as it didn't have bars on it. And thanks for meeting me at the station. Forget it, will you? Town looks good to me, Dave. Fourteen years, and it's still the same. It only looks the same, Frankie. Well, it better be the same. Oh, I bought some clothes for you. Everything's in the closet. Hope you like what I picked out. Thanks, Dave. And there's some money for you in the bureau drawer. Dave, you, you haven't said anything about now. How is he? How's the nightclub doing? Well, things are okay, Frankie. All's fine. Uh, Frankie, I, I got to get back to the club. I, I got a lot of work to do. I'll see you later, won't I? Well, what's the trouble, Dave? Trouble? Yeah, you're scared. Me? No. I can smell it. I spent 14 years where everybody was scared. What is it? Nothing, Frankie, honest. Is it? Is it Null? Has he got his teeth into you? Here, here, look at this. It's a magazine. Oh, oh that magazine. That was good publicity for the club, Frankie. Yeah, lots of pictures, huh, Dave? Pictures of Null. Pictures of the celebrated Region Club, one of New York's most exclusive night spots. Null Turner and his famous major domo, Maurice. Here, and this one, Null with a dame so rich... Well, What's he trying to do, crash society? Frankie, wait. Now, look at this one. Now, and another dame. That's Kay Lawrence, Frankie. She she sings at the club. Now, I'll turn to coaching Kay Lawrence. Coaching. My pal. Now, my, my partner. He sent me a carton of cigarettes once a month. Never a visit. Never even a letter. Listen, I was Frankie. 63 minutes away by the new parkway. He never drove it once. What about you, Dave? You came and visited me, didn't you? And each time I saw you, you, you were a little worse, a little more frightened. Is it now? What's he doing to you? Cut it out, Frankie. Let me alone. I'm two years older than you, Dave, and I've been in jail. Look in the mirror. What's happened to you? Nothing's happened to me. This character in the magazine, this uh, this Maurice, the major domo, who's he? Don't worry about him, Frankie. I'm not worried about anybody. But who is he? Where'd he come from? Well, the Riverside Club. He's got class, Frankie. Brought in a lot of wealthy people. A guy like that works on a salary? Well, no, not exactly. And I'll cut him in for 5%. He figured... That's okay. He must be worth it. I'll see you later, Dave. Thanks. Stay where you are now. What? Frankie. It's been a long time. Your man said I could wait for you here in the office. Ah, uh, let me get a good look at you now. Well, how do I look? Not so good now. You're pale. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what you get for being cooped up in this nightclub. Now, take me. I got the sun every day. I had to hurry to get a spot in the right corner of the yard, but I got the sun every day. Yeah, I bet you're smoking too much. You know, I got along in a carton of cigarettes a month. Oh, Frankie. And the hours I... you must keep. You know, you can't go on living this way. No, I'll, I'll have to see to that. And that, that picture on the wall. You and me, huh, now? Fourteen years ago. I've taken that picture along everywhere I've been, Frankie. I don't believe you. I think it just went up there tonight. I had the same picture in Sing Sing. After a while, I threw it away. All right. I should have written you, granted. Granted. I should have come up to see you. That's right. Would have done more harm than good. Why? Building this club's been a long, hard pull. If I'd come up to see you, some shutter-happy reporter might have taken a picture, written it up. They took a picture of me, front face and profile. All it would have taken would be one picture. Now Turner, the famous region club, visits criminal friend. Next night we'd fold. Frankie, listen. I got plans, Frankie, for you. Sorry if there's been any misunderstanding, but now that you know I'm on a level... I'm one... very sorry to bother you, Mr. Turner. I thought I left word as not to be disturbed. I know, sir, but the table can't... All right, wish... all right. Be with you as soon as I can, Frankie. We got a lot to talk about. Well, don't make it too long, no. Why don't you have Dave show you around the club? You find him at the bar, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Well? He's smart, Maurice. But he's sentimental, always was. Shows a great concern for Dave. <laughs> Get Kay in here. Kay? But she's got another song coming I'll up. I'll have to skip it. Kay's a good listener. Nothing like a good listener to make a man talk. When a man talks, especially a sentimental man, he's bound to soften. Get her in here. This is quite a bar, Dave. A little longer than the one we used to have in the old Four Kings. Three times as long. Twenty times the inventory, but... Hello, Kay. Hello, Dave. 
Uh, Frankie, this is Kay Lawrence. Miss Lawrence, Mr. Madison. Ah, so you're the famous Kay Lawrence who takes so well to coaching. I must be famous if you've heard of me. What song are you going to sing, Kay? Oh, does it matter, Dave? All the songs sound alike these days. <laughs> hey, your tie's crooked. Stand still and let me fix it. Kay, Mr. Turner wants to see you. Oh? Now, if you don't mind. Your hands are shaking, Kay. There. That's a lovely tie, Dave, if you'd only wear it straight. Thanks. Your hands are still shaking. They are, aren't they? <laughs> See what you do to me, Dave? No, it's girl, huh? She's all right, Frankie. In love with him? I guess so. Private dining room. Pretty girl. It's very nice, no. It's your welcome home dinner. Even I'm impressed, no. Well, I'll see you later, hmm? Sure. Oh, I'm expecting someone. Uh, let me know when he comes in, will you? Who is it? Nick Palestro. Remember him? Yeah. I thought you would. I'll let you know when he gets here. Let's talk about something else. All right. Name it. You. Me? Why? <laughs> well, for one thing, I've never had dinner before with a man who didn't keep talking about himself and end up thinking he knew all about me. Well, what do you want to know about me? Oh, the usual... Who are you? What you've been doing? At the moment, I don't do anything. Where I've been wouldn't interest you. Why not? It was dull. Whatever it was, I, I wish you'd tell me. Why? Because I'm interested. But if you'd rather not, how about dancing? Well, I... Gee, I'd like to, but... It's been so long, I... Weren't there any USOs where you were stationed? USOs? Say, so where do you think I've been? Overseas, maybe with the Marines. Stop it. Well, I'm sorry. You're trying to tell me that you really don't know where I've been? Well, should I know? With Marines, huh? Listen, I'm a jailhouse Marine. I've been 14 years in prison. Frank. Not just in prison, but 14 years in prison. 1933 was a good year, he said. Yeah, it was the year I went up the river. Oh, Frankie, I'm terribly sorry. You sound like I'm sorry for myself, do I? Well, I'm not. People are walking to a stone wall with their eyes wide open. They got no right to be sorry for themselves. How? Well... How, how did you... How did I get jammed up? Yes. Well, you remember Prohibition. Nal and I owned a speakeasy here in town, Four Kings. We brought our own liquor in from Canada by truck. Well, this night we were being followed by hijackers. I was driving and I gave them a rough ride for a while and they started shooting. And I'll shot back. He hit a tire and their car cracked up in a ditch. Step on it, Frankie. We're in the clear now. Yeah, after waking up every cop this side of the border. Hey, look, we better split up. Why? It'll give us twice a chance. One of us is sure to get away. Then he helps the other one. Okay, get ready to hop off now. I'll, I'll stick with the load. Forget me, Frankie. I want Hayes for a lawyer. Keep the four kings going till I get out, and I'll have some place to come back to. Right. And I'll do the same thing for you. Everything 50-50, Frankie. Right down the line. Right, pal. 50-50. <laughs> but you didn't get away. No. Nope. Cops picked me up a few minutes later. I took the rap and, well, here I am. Except we shook hands on it. So everything is 50-50. Now Turner and I are partners. Yes, I... I see. Maybe you'll be working for me from now on. Take an order. Supper with the boss after the late show tonight. Maybe we'll feel more like eating. Frankie, no. Thanks, but no. I uh, beg your pardon. There's a man to see you at the bar, Mr. Madison. Nick Palestro. Oh, thanks. About supper. Why not? Frankie... I've been singing around this town for six years. In that time, I've learned more than just how to put a song over. Look, don't worry about me. I just got out of prison, not college. Nick! Nick, how are you? Hello, Frankie. Hey, I've been waiting. Long? Yeah. Sir, they didn't tell me you were here till just now. I don't like waiting here. I'm a Third Avenue boy. I like my Third Avenue spot. <laughs> I hear you're doing all right since you got out. I got sprung at the right time, Frankie. Everybody made money during the war. All kinds of grab. Right now, I got a used car lot. And since I stay open nights, Frankie... Sure, well, sure. I won't keep you in there. Well, not to rush you, but what's on your mind? Well, I want some information. And uh, maybe a little help later on. My pleasure, Frankie. Anything for you. Now, I'm a little uncertain at the moment, Nick. But I'll know where I stand pretty soon. And maybe if you had, say, uh, well, three or four good boys standing by in case I needed them. Oh, sure, Frankie. Sure. Why did you tell me he'd been in prison now? I wanted to see if he'd tell you himself. 
you did, I knew he'd tell you everything. What's going on in that mind of yours? I told you. I want to help him. It sounds good. You don't believe me? 50-50 on everything? 50-50? Is that what he said? That's what he said. He said you made a bargain. Why don't you live up to it now? I don't think I ever realized it before. <laughs> well, you're like Frankie. You're sentimental. 50-50, huh? Well, you found out what I had to know. Thanks. Nice talk you tossed at me, Nald. Have a drink, Frankie. Some champagne. Dinner with a girl. But not a word about what I'm listening for. The oldest trick in the world. When you want to pump a guy, use a woman. And I grab. All right, Frankie, I was trying to pump you. Nald asked me to have dinner with you because he said he was trying to help you. I know how he'd like to help me. And you're in on it. Well, Nald, what kind of news did you pigeon bring back? Look, Frankie, if we have some business, let's settle it like businessmen. All right. Why not? Let me get Dave. Hmm? Sit down, Kay. No need for you, please. Here's what you asked for now, but file on Frankie. Thanks, Dave. Now, here, this will interest you particularly, Frank. This, this photostat. It's a dissolution of partnership, the Four Kings Club. What? Oh, wait a minute. We had an understanding, you and I. Sure we did. We shook hands on it. 50-50 on the Four Kings and nothing else. Dave, this paper. This looks like one of those papers you kept bringing me to sign. Yes, Frankie. But you told me they didn't mean anything. Just a lot of rigmarole. I didn't even have to bother reading them. Why didn't you tell me? You can't blame Dave, Frankie. After Prohibition was repealed, the four kings started losing money. We had to sell. You were away, so I had to handle it alone. So what? Look, I just didn't sell out and move into this place. There were some tough years in between. I should have sent you cigarettes. There was a little money left out of the sale. Dave, uh, how much does Frankie have coming to him? Well, we've... Interest at 6%, a little over $2,800. Are you trying to tell me that I don't own any part of this place? How can you collect on a race when you don't hold a ticket? I had Dave make out this check. Here's $3,000, Frankie. You're half of the four kings. Mark, paid in full. That's right. Why am I figuring wrong? Dave's a good accountant, all right, but there's one figure he forgot to add in. 14 years. He left out the 14 years I gave you. 14 years to be out in the sunshine. Eat good, sleep good. What's 6% of that? What a fall guy I am. Three of a kind. No. Are you all right? Yeah. All right. Your face is bleeding. Now, let me get some ice. Never mind. You can go now, Dave. Okay. How low do you think I am now? You use me on Frankie like... Like one would use a bar girl to make a man buy drinks. A stool pigeon, he said. Well, he was right. Hey, listen to me. Not this time, now. This time you're listening to me. As far as we're concerned, from now on, it's strictly nothing. Hey, it's about time for you to go on. Hadn't you better change? Is it time for me to go on, now? Or did you put your buzzer like you always do when you're inconvenienced? You'll never have to buzz to get rid of me, darling. Just say the word. <laughs> Nick, this is Frank. I'm going to need you sooner than I figured, Nick. You know me, Frank. A pleasure. Get hold of those boys. Bring them over to my hotel as soon as you can. Tonight? That's right, Nick. Tonight. You're watching I Walk Alone on Radio Movie Classics, and we'll have more after these messages. <laughs> Attention, fans of old-time radio, call now and get the greatest old-time radio shows of the 20th century as selected by Walter Cronkite at an amazing $20 off the $59.98 catalog price. 60 programs and 20 cassettes, a written and audio forward by Walter Cronkite, and a booklet with rare photographs and show histories. Order now, 1-800-RADIO-48. That's 1-800-723-4648. <laughs> We now return to I Walk Alone, starring Burt Lancaster and Elizabeth Scott on Radio Movie Classics. Thirty minutes have passed, and in his office in the nightclub, Noll Turner is again alone with Kay. Please believe me, Kay. I'm terribly sorry. I had no idea you'd take it this way about Frankie. How did you expect me to take it? Oh, I don't know. I made a mistake, I suppose. Kay, uh, I have something else to tell you. You know I love you, don't you? Right now, I'm not sure of anything. Kay, 
I'm going to marry Helen Richardson. You love me, but you're marrying her? Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, there's a lot of things you have to do for business. She puts the club in the upper brackets, not just with money, but with a blue book, and that's real security. But that doesn't mean we can't go on seeing each other, Kay. Doesn't mean we can't... You're not in love with me now. You never were. For two years now, I've watched you grow more and more in love with the nightclub. It used to frighten me. Now it just makes me sick. I've given my life to this club. That's what's made it a big success, a big business. Big business. It's a place where, place where people come because they don't want to go home to show off or try to forget. It's exactly like you are now, exactly. Anything else? Yes, I'm quitting. But just for the book, you're firing me because I want that week's pay. So you're in Frankie's League now. Thanks, Nal. I couldn't ask for better company. <laughs> Hello, Frankie. Dave told me where you were staying. I... I had to see you. They don't care who comes into this hotel, do they? You're going to tell Nal that Nal I... Nal didn't send me. Please, Frankie, I, I... I just wanted to explain. Nal wanted me to get you to talk about yourself because he said he wanted to help you. I should have realized the only thing Nal ever built up was the Regent Club. Everything else he tears apart. I thought you were his girl. I, I thought so, too. It's all over. Is that why you've been crying? I suppose it is. But I'm glad. It, it might take me a little time to get him out of my system. You going back to the club tonight? Yes, I'll, I'll work the week out. I'll go back with you. I, I don't think you'd better, Frankie. I'm not being polite. I was going back anyway, right now. Frankie... I gave Nal his chance to do things his way. Now I'll do them my way. But you can't face them alone. Yeah, that's how I figured. Nick Plestro's there now. He and his boys are looking things over till I get there. Don't go, Frankie. Oh, I see. It's Nal you're worried about, huh? You said you hadn't got him out of your system. It's you I'm worried about. I... I like you too much to see you get hurt again. Nal's smart. And I'm dumb, huh? Well, maybe I am. Come on, we'll soon find out. All right, Maurice, settle down. Now, where are they, these tough boys? They're at the bar. Nick Palestro and three gangsters. I'm calling the police. Now postpone the showdown? No, no. This thing's got to be settled once and for all. Isn't that right, Dave? I... I guess so, no. We'll wait for him right here in my office, Dave. You, Maurice, and I. Stay where you are, Nal. Come on in, boys, and shut the door. Hello, Frankie. Nick Palestro here you know. The rest of the boys you don't know. But you know what they're here for. You gentlemen care for a drink? Yes, well, what a lay. Shut up, Skinner. Maurice, if you do the honors. Stay where you are, mouse face. I guess there's only one way to handle you, Nal. Kill me? If I have to, yes. The guy's got to fight for what's his. Dave, you and mouse face, get out of here. They know my business, they stay. You and your boys. This isn't a Four Kings, Frankie. Steel doors and a peephole. This is big business. Ask Nick. Today, everything is big business. We deal with banks, lawyers, and Dun and Bradstreet ratings. The world spun right past you, Frankie. You're finished, as dead as the headlines the day you went to prison. Nick? Yeah. You ready? Sure, Frankie. Heinz? All set. Skinner? Sure, that's what I'm getting paid for. Okay. Now you've got exactly one minute. One minute for what? To cut me in for what I own, the half that belongs to me. Now, listen, Frankie, you're mad, sure, I don't blame you. But I couldn't tell you half this place is yours if I wanted to. If I did, I'd be lying. I can tell to the second now. It comes from living in a cell, waiting for something to happen. Thirty seconds now. But well, there's nothing you can take over. Look, I can prove it to you. Business like this, you keep books. I'll get the books here. I'll show you the figures. 20 seconds, 18, 15. That's what you want. All right, half the business. See, Nick, you had to be smoked out. All right, now hand it over. It's not that simple. Ask Dave. All right, start talking, Dave. Well, 
The Regent Club, Frankie, is controlled by three corporations. Regent Incorporated, Regent Enterprises, and Regent Associates. I don't care what kind of a region you call it. What's Nulls in? Well, for instance, on fixtures and furniture, that's the property of Regent Incorporated. The equipment, on the other hand, belongs to Regent Enterprises and Regent Associates. Stop trying to dizzy me up. Now, I just want answers. Simple answers. Now it's got the full say around here, right? Well, yes. Okay, then. Except it's revocable by a vote of the board of directors of Regent Associates. Stop the double talk. I'm sorry, Frankie, but that's how it's all laid out. Just up. what does Nal own? In which corporation? Take them one by one. Well, Regent Associates is sort of a holding company, a, a desk. A desk? Yes, it owns 51% of Regent Enterprises. Regent Enterprises is a service company with assets like linen, silverware, glass. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Linen and silverware and the liquor. No, Frankie, not the liquor. That's Regent Incorporated. Right back where you started. Shut up, Skinner. Brother, they got you swimming. Yeah, well, I'm through swimming. I know what I want now. Write out a paper that gives me half of everything you want. It wouldn't be legal, Frankie. Why not? Because in the Articles of Incorporation on file in Albany, no stock can be transferred without the consent of the board of directors. You did this to me, Dave. You're always so smart with figures. You put together all this paper I can't swim through. Okay, Nick. We're moving in. We take over right now. Nick, you heard what I said? Yeah, Frankie, I heard. Well, then start moving. I'm giving the orders around here. Frankie, I'm afraid there is no boss here. Not you, not even no Turner. I told you, Frankie, the old days are gone and you with them. I'm sorry about all this, Mr. Turner. It's all right, Skinner. Drop in sometime. I'll buy you a drink. Yeah? Swell. Come on, Hines. Let's breathe. Frankie, it's like that with my used car lot. I got a piece of it. My wife's got a piece of it. My brother-in-law, who never worked a day in his life, he's got a piece of it, too. It's on account of the taxes, Frankie. Get out of here. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Dave. You cook this up, Dave. Yeah, you. It wasn't all you were scared of. It was me. You know what you've done? Cheating me one cross after another. I'm going to kill you, Dave, so help me. I'm going to... Thanks, no. Well, that's that, I hope. Frankie, can you hear me? Uh... There's only one way to treat you, Frankie. I'm going to have some sense beaten into you. And I hope that works, because if you come around here again, I'll have you beaten up and thrown out again and again until you crawl. No, wait a minute. Shut up. Get Dan and Mossy. Tell them to work them over in the alley. Okay, no. Dave has a lot of brains, Maurice, but not much stomach. All right, now, you won. But don't push things too hard. This can only lead to trouble. Hear that, Maurice. You've already said your 5% worth. Get back to your station. <laughs> Frankie. Frankie, it's me, Dave. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frankie. I'm awful sorry. They... They finished with me? They're gone, Frankie. And I'll told them to beat you up. I couldn't stop them. Frankie. Give me a hand, Dave. I don't want them to see me like this. It doesn't matter how I see you. Just so I see you. It's not as bad as it looks. They didn't hurt me much. Frankie. Your hands are shaking, kid. Okay, take him to his hotel. I'm going to see now. Dave. Dave, I'm sorry I shut my mouth off. I know you just put the numbers into the books. You don't make them up. It's all right, Frankie. Anyway, the, the books don't balance anymore. Uh, I'll see you at your room. I have a lot more to tell you. We'd, we'd better go to my place first, Frankie. Maybe I can patch you up. And then we'll go to your hotel and meet Dave. I didn't know you could take it like this, kid. There are a lot of things I didn't know about myself. But I'm learning. Come on. We'll find a cat. Well, Dave, what is it? Uh, uh, about Frankie and all. They, they beat him up fine. I already had a full report. Well, then we'll skip Frankie and talk about me. I've had all I can take. I'm fed up. Aren't you forgetting a little matter of forgery? I have three checks in my vault with my name forged, and not too well by you. You don't seem to understand. I'm not scared anymore. Sure, you, you can send me to prison, but first I'm talking to Frankie. I want him to know how I built this setup for you and how I think it can be torn down. Maybe it can't, but it's worth a try. After all, there's one or two things like our real set of books that no one's ever seen except you and me. Don't threaten me, Dave. You know, I, I think you're the one who's afraid now. Frankie with his prison record, me with those checks I forged, and you with this setup here. Everyone trying to look out for himself. 
Maybe get something for nothing. How about Frankie paid now? And I've paid. Now it's your turn. Well, we'll see what happens. Good night, now. Yes, Mr. Turner? Dan, there was a fellow with Nick Pilestro tonight named Skinner. Think you could run him down for me? Sure, boss. I saw him go in that bar across the street. I think he's still there. Find him. Tell Skinner I want to see him right away. I've got a job for him. Yes? This is Skinner. About that job. It's been taken care of. You're certain? Five slugs. I'm real certain, Mr. Turner. Okay? Yes. Yes, that's fine. Thanks. I don't know if you feel any better, Frankie, but you certainly look a lot better. I'm fine. Thanks, Kay. Thanks for, for everything. And what happens now? Back to my hotel. Dave has something to tell me. I, I don't mean about that. I mean, what happens tomorrow and the next day? I don't know. For 14 years, I thought I knew. But now I don't. You'll find a new place. I don't have any plans. I don't have much of anything. You're sounding pretty sorry for yourself, Frankie. I just got beat up good. Sure, it was tough. But you faced a lot tougher. It's not the beating I feel. Well, you're not the only one. What do you think my life's been? You? You've got everything. Including a nice big hole where I used to have a heart. And I'll tore that out of me. So you see, I took a beating tonight, too. You'll do fine. I guarantee you. You'll do fine. The only reason I'll do fine is because I've got sense enough to face the facts. Sure, and I'll handed me a rough deal. But I'm going to turn it into something that does me good. I'm not letting Nal win all the way around. It's okay for you, but it don't work for me. No, Frankie. I don't think it does either. I think he's one hands down. When I first saw you, I thought you were a man with some strength. Not only in your hands, but in your head. Yes. Yes, I think now I'll beat you because he's stronger than you are. Shut up. Not much of a man for the truth, are you? Hurts to have the facts where you can see them. Or... Or are they facts? I said shut up. Sure. I'll shut up. But think it over, Frankie. And then you can leave if you want to. But I... I just can't believe it, Lieutenant. Dave, dead. Murdered. That's right, Mr. Turner, about an hour ago. We've got a few facts from your doorman here. I'd like to check on them. They're the police, Mr. Turner. I had to tell them what I knew about that argument. Dave and Frankie Madison. That was here in this office? I'm afraid it was. And just what did Madison say? Maurice, tell him. He said, uh, I'll kill you, Dave. So help me, I'll kill you. That was when you threw Madison out? Well, Frankie looked so wild. I was afraid he might try to go through with his threat right here. I... I had to get a little rough with him. Madison said that Dave had cheated him, huh? Can't you take Dan's word for it? Why not yours? Well, Frankie and I... He was my best friend, Lieutenant. Uh, sure, I understand how you feel. Uh, well, it's a clear enough case. Schreiber. Yes, sir. Start with Madison's hotel in the girl's place. Send out a general alarm for Frankie Madison to be booked for murder. Still thinking it over, Frankie? Come on. Let's go to my hotel. Will Dave still be waiting for you? Sure. Nothing could stop me. You know, sometimes I wondered what I'd do for a living if... if Null didn't come through. And what did you think? Well, I thought I'd find myself a smart new angle. Oh, I see. Now, I don't know. Seeing that guy Skinner tonight, well, it sort of stopped me cold. Skinner? One of those mugs that came with Nick. A kid like that, he's... Hey, listen. What? Police siren. You never even noticed it. <laughs> when you're so many. Whenever I hear one, I think of the guy they're after. Well, I never again want that guy to be me, Kay. With all the guys I knew fighting the law, not one of them ever grew old. Skinner won't. And I want to. Well, come on, let's go. Let's go talk to Dave. 
Frankie. I have paper, Kate. That may be down the block. Don't you see? That's my picture in the paper. Frankie. Dave's dead. Look. A shot in the back. That's not all right. No, but, but why? You remember what Dave told us in the alley? The bookstone balance? He went to tell Nolly was through. Why didn't he tell me? Why did the poor guy have to get himself jammed? I've got to get to Nolly and get the truth out of him. Where would he be? The, the club's closed now. He'd be home. You know how to get there? Yes, he, he lives in Jersey. The, the Mill Bank Road will need a car. Yeah. Oh, Nick Flestro, he could get me a car. No, no. I don't dare go to him. He may be watched. I, I can phone him. Hey, that'd be fine. Look, tell him to leave a car outside the old church. He'll know. It's a place we used to meet at in the old days. I'll wait here for you, Kate. Frankie. We'll make out. Keep him clear of the police is one thing I know. But hurry, Kay, hurry. Let's pause right here. We'll return to I Walk Alone, starring Burt Lancaster and Elizabeth Scott after these messages. <laughs> George Burns and Gracie Allen. Hop along, Cassidy. Edgar Bergen. The Shadow. John and Blanche Bickerson. The Whistler. Choose from among thousands of downloadable old-time radio shows and spoken word titles at MediaBay.com. The best voice on the net. Yeah. <laughs> now for the conclusion of I Walk Alone, starring Burt Lancaster and Elizabeth Scott on Radio Movie Classics. Crossing the George Washington Bridge into New Jersey, Frankie Madison and Kay, thus far at least, have eluded the police. Now in the half-light of dawn, they draw up to Noll Turner's home in the country. Mm, this is dark. Put a light on. He's home. That's his car over there. What do we do now? The bigger the house, the more chance the front door is open. Oh, it's locked. Maybe we can try one of the windows. Greetings. I heard you drive up. Come in. Sure. I don't usually welcome guests with a gun in my hand, but under the circumstances... <laughs> well, let's go in the library. And keep your hands out of your pocket, Frankie. Who killed Dave? Why, you did, didn't you know? Papers are full of it. Been on the radio, too. They might turn on that lamp, Kay. It's rather dark in here. That's yeah, better. Yes, Frankie, it's my duty to call the police. I'm sorry, but... Take that's... your hand off that phone. Frankie, I have the gun. And that's where you went haywire. When it comes to stocks and papers and books that don't balance, you're better than me. When it comes to guns, you're down to my level. Maybe you better call the cops. They'd be interested in what Dave told me in the alley after the working over you gave me. Oh, yes. Just before you killed him. Try again, I'll Remember, you're down to my level now. You've made it just like the old days. When it comes to guns and tricks, you never could score. I was always quicker. Well, go on. Call the cops. Come any closer and I'll shoot. Frankie, please. Yeah, you'd be happy to kill me, wouldn't you now? I'll be out of the way, too. Just like Dave. Nobody to remember what he said. I warned you, Frankie. You'll have to kill both of us now because I'm Frankie's alibi. I know Frankie's not guilty. I found him in the alley. Dave was with him. After Dave left, I took Frankie to my apartment. The doorman saw us go in. The elevator boy took us up to my floor. And they both saw us leave later, after Dave was murdered. That's a pretty tight alibi now. Your hands are sweating now. When you pull the trigger, your, your finger will slip. Well, you're not even going to... Get down, Kay. The room's dark now, now. I busted your lamp. How's your aim in the dark? Miss me now. Five shots left. But it's a big room. Lots of furniture to duck behind. Kay. Kay, you all right? Yes, Frankie. Now, you're pretty rusty now. I only threw a book at the wall. But don't give up. You still have three shots left. Two shots. You ought to be more careful. It's hard to hit the sound of a voice in the dark. Why, this is just like that night at the warehouse. Remember now? 
the night Ellie Marappi tried to hijack us? Do you remember what I did when he had me covered? I remember, all right. You tipped the table over on him. I took his gun away. I thought you'd remember. One left now, one more chance. And if I were you, I'd... Frank, Frank, are you all right? Turn on the lights. Easy now, easy. This way, if you struggle, you get your windpipe crushed, remember? I want that gun. I'll only need one shot. Drop that gun now. Grab it, Kay. Well, what now? What do you think? I don't know. You're slipping now. Now we go for a ride. You wouldn't kill me. You'd only be worse off. Who killed Dave? And don't say I did. I don't know. Let's ride now. All right, Kay, you can get us car now. the country now? It was around here they found Walt Werner. They took gasoline from their car and they, they set him on fire. Where are we going? Kay, listen to me. I know I've been rotten to you, but make Frankie see that killing me won't help. Kay, please stop him. Do you still think Frankie killed Dave? I told you, I don't know who killed him. We're, we're coming to the bridge, Frankie. Don't worry about the bridge. The cops are trying to stop me from getting out of the city. They won't be looking for me to come back in. Unless Nal talks. And if Null talks, there's still that one shot in his gun. I won't talk, Frankie. I won't say anything. All right. Then we'll cross the bridge and go to the region club. Oh, you want at the club? You'll see now. We'll be there soon. Nothing more depressing than a deserted nightclub. Well, where to, Frankie? Bar, the green room? Who's there? Oh, aren't you, Mr. Turner? The watchman. I was just finishing up my rounds, Mr. Turner. Anything I can do for you? There's nothing he can do for you, is there now? No. You can go, Ed. Thanks, Mr. Turner. We'll go to the office, Kay. Kay, do something. But I am doing something now. I'm wondering who killed Dave. You got a safe in here, haven't you, Noel? It's behind that picture, Frankie. And you can have anything, anything. I'll transfer everything to you. But you can't do that. Why not? It's in the bylaws. No stocks can be transferred without the consent of the board of directors. Oh, but I can have... Open the the safe. You got money in there? Yes, Frankie, a lot of money. Count out $2,800. Well, you can have more all you want. I only want what you said I had coming to me from the Four Kings. Now, hurry up. Count it out. Yeah. Sure, Frankie. Sure. Now, get over to your desk. Here's a pen. Start right now to receipt. Receive from Nal Turner $2,800. Paid in full. I'll sign it. Frankie, yeah. Look, I'd be glad to make it more. Believe me, I'll give you all I Do have. just what I said. And don't try to open any drawers in that desk. My hand's in my pocket now, and I won't miss. I've written it, Frankie. The receipt. Now walk toward the door. Oh, no, Frankie. No, don't shoot, please. Don't do it, Frankie. He's not worth it. Give me ten minutes, Kay. Then call the homicide squad. Wait for me in here and keep the door shut. What are you going to do? It's all right, baby. Yes, Frankie. Open the door now. Start walking. We're going to that beautiful spotless kitchen of yours. What are you trying to do to me? Well, go on. Kill me. Shoot me. Get it over with. Now, who killed Dave? I don't know. Who killed him? All right. I had to do it. He was crossing me. I had to have him killed. You shouldn't have done that now. Not to Dave. All right, here's that pen again. You're going to do some more writing. Write out just how you did it. Nice and legal now, the way you like it. Remember where we found Dutch Raw? In the freezer now, frozen solid. These pens are great. They write any place. Underwater, up in plains. I'll bet they'd even write in a freezer. Now, I'm going to put you in that meat locker now. And if you can write out a confession before you freeze to death, I'll let you out. That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. You remember how, how Dutch looked? I'll write it, Frankie. You give me the pen. I'll write anything you say. Homicide, Sergeant Carr. Frankie Madison. Where? Yes, ma'am. Never mind the details now. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Open up, Madison. I got a warrant for your arrest. And I'm warning you, if you've got a gun, you... No gun, Lieutenant. Just a confession. Turner just wrote it. Turner? I wrote it, Lieutenant. But there's not a word of truth in it. Why not? I signed at the point of a gun. He threatened my life unless I signed it. He's got a gun on him, Lieutenant. Driver, put up your hands, Madison. 
There's no gun on him, Lieutenant. What? Just a roll of bills here. That's... No gun! You remember Ali Marapi now, but you forgot the simplest trick of them all. The fountain pen gag. What? You pulled it on me the first time we met. That's one thing I learned from you. No, he's got a gun. Look, you don't think I'd sign a thing like that unless he had a gun. Nothing but the money, Lieutenant. I tell you, he it's had... It's a pen that I bought for Dave now, but I never got a chance to deliver it. No, no, he... Get yourself a lawyer. Maybe he can enter a plea like Hayes did for me. You might get off with 14 years. This confession, Johnny Skinner, eh? Waters, phone in a general alarm for Johnny Skinner. Yes, Lieutenant. You better come along, Turner. He tried to get my club away from me, the Regent Club. I'll be back in a minute, Madison. Stay here with him, Matthews. Yes, sir. Oh, Miss Lawrence, you can come in now. Frankie. I did it your way, Kay. From here on in, the cops can take care of now. This way, Turner. Schreiber and I have a few questions to ask you. Where do you want to talk to me? I don't think it matters. I think out in the car might be best. Before we go, uh, do you boys mind if I have a little farewell drink? There's a bar. It's my favorite bar, you know. Ever been here before? Well, places like this are a little beyond my salary. Go ahead. Fix yourself a drink. Thanks. Uh, won't you join me? No, thanks. The bartender keeps my favorite bottle in this cabinet. It's my only guarantee. I'll... Don't make a move, either of you. I never dreamed you'd fall for this one, Lieutenant. Are you crazy, Turner? Drop that gun. Put your hands on the bar. Sorry, boys, but I'll have to disarm you. You're being very stupid, Turner. You know what this means? Sure, you'll be walking a beat in the Bronx. At least I'll be walking. I got nothing against you fellas, but I got a score to settle with Frankie Madison in there. I'm warning you. Stay right where you are and don't make a sound. I don't understand, Frankie. You had a gun? Null's gun. I left it at Null's house, in the bushes as we drove away. Then, then all the time... All the way down here, you... I've learned something, Kay. I've learned why I'll never use a gun again. Look out, I... Madison! Turner's behind the door. He's got a gun. Nice going, Walters. Turner must have forgotten about me going out there to telephone. You all right, Madison? No, I'll never could handle a gun. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. It's all right, <laughs> baby. Come on, let's get out of here. Is it okay, Lieutenant? I, uh, I'd like to see you at headquarters for a while. Sure. Take over, Schreiber. I'll be back. <laughs> Uh, thanks for your statement, Madison. Yours too, Miss Lawrence. I don't think we'll want you at headquarters again. Well, I, I'm going back to the nightclub. Can I give you two a lift? I don't think so, Lieutenant. I think we'd better walk. Well, good luck. Well, here we are. No strings attached. No place to go. And nothing to stop us. We can go anywhere you wish, Frankie. If it's together. It is. Uh...